What's up guys, it's Steven here from Everything Gaming and on today's video we're going to be trying to get four obscure achievements on Forza Horizon 3, uh, three of which are rare, two of which are rare because only 1% of people on Forza Horizon 3 on Xbox One have got them. Now the first one is called Fly Like a Regal which means you have to jump 300 feet and the airport danger sign using the Reliant Supervan. Uh, it sounds a lot harder than what it is, it's pretty simple when you get into it. Uh, the next one after this is called Endurance Hero which just means you have to create an exhibition race with 25 laps, roll in time of day and complete it against pro driver tars. Yet again, it's a piece of piss, takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, the next one after this is called Aussie Rules, which means you have to create and complete a championship featuring just Australian cars. Yet again, you've got about three races in it, it's a piece of piss. No, it's not that hard at all, easy 10 gaming score. Uh, the last one is called Totally Meant to Do That. Now, this one just means you have to perform a barrel roll in any buggy. So it's just a buggy, buggy and you perform a barrel roll. Now, first one is called Endurance Hero. Like I said, it's an easy 20 gaming score. Uh, what you want to do is select a short circuit race. So I picked this one, the Archway Meadows Circuit. Um, obviously, create an exhibition. Now, you want to blueprint it. So when you create your own blueprint, doesn't matter what car selection you choose I just went with anything goes it doesn't matter whatsoever go into the race settings change the number of laps to 25 obviously as the achievement requires you to do then go down to time progression doesn't matter what time of day you start off with whether it's morning um, night time whatever just make sure you got the time progression to rolling after this obviously you want to confirm it now your last bit to unlock the achievement apart from completing the 25 lap race requires you to change the difficulty of the driver tars to pro driver tars which isn't hard at all so as you'll see here when it comes to the first menus into the race you go to the bottom left one called difficulty and then you change the driver tar difficulty from whatever it's on to pro now obviously there's one after that called unbeatable you don't want that or you won't get the achievement so go to pro accept that and then do the race uh, i'm going to let the rest of the video just for this segment talk for itself and then i'll walk you through the last three achievements Now, the next achievement is called Aussie Rules, which is the first rare achievement worth 10 gamer score. Uh, all it requires you to do is set up a championship. So I use three races using just Australian cars. So as you see in the blueprint here, I've selected the one that says Aussie Rules as it's just Australian. Uh, you can pick whatever routes. I've picked these three circuit races because they're a piece of piss across Surface Paradise. There's nothing much to them. It's pretty easy. Obviously you can lower the laps on it, doesn't matter. You unlock this achievement when you complete all three races. I won the championship, I won all three, so I've got 60 points, won the championship as well. Um, I did it in the Holden, the uh, specific race car one, uh, but like I said, it's a piece of piss and I'll let the rest of this part talk for itself. Up another championship win, boss. As for the third achievement, this one's a little bit of a piss take, but it's not too hard. Called Fly Like a Regal, worth 10 gamer score. It's the next rare achievement, only 1% of people have got it. Uh, for this one, you want the Reliant Supervan, as I was just showing there, the setup I used, it's on my storefront, type in Steza01, uh, and then it's just called Jump, 
for the Reliant Supervan. That's all you need. It's basically maxed out with the stabilizers to make it more stable, pretty much. Um, so what you want to do, go to the airport. This danger sign, it's called airport danger sign, so it speaks for itself. Now, it says jump 300 foot in the Reliant Supervan. As you may be aware, it's done in meters on your jump, so it works out. It's 91.44 meters if you have it set that way, which I do. So it takes a few attempts, but easy 10 gamer score in the end. As for the last achievement, it's called Totally Meant To Do That, it's another easy 10 gamer score. It just requires you to do a barrel roll in any buggy. Now obviously the buggy I've chosen here is the Aerial Nomad. Uh, you'll see a few of my failed attempts, it is a bit of a piss take. Uh, but the location I'm using is at the airport, so you might recognise all these jumps, it's just off the runway. Um, it's not really that hard to do. Um, I did unlock it in a stupid way, uh, as you'll see in this next clip, I nail the, um, the barrel roll, but for some reason I don't get the achievement, but straight after that I do it again, land on the roof, fuck it up completely, but I get the achievement, so whatever's going on there, I don't know, turn 10, talk your shit out. Uh, apart from that guys, I hope you enjoyed these uh, guides and tutorials on how to unlock four of these achievements, like I said, two of them are seriously rare, as only 1% of people on Forza Horizon 3 have unlocked them, um, the other one's not so sure, but they're just pretty obscure your achievements but they're piss easy to get at the end of the day um don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned i will be bringing out a ton more forza horizon 3 videos um some more tuning ones and vinyls for fast and furious cars even the bmw off most wanted i'm working on that as well um but i hope this was very helpful for you guys it was a piece of piss to do um but yeah don't forget to like it if it was useful and subscribe and stay tuned if you enjoy the videos